To create a photo book with Scrapbook Artist, click on Start with a blank page and then choose the photo book kits that you want to use. These are all available for free from Daisy Trail. And you can see the layouts available in these photo books by clicking the Layout tab at the top here. So this will show you all the layouts available in the basic photo book kit, the contemporary kit, holiday, new baby, etc. For this example, I'm going to use the holiday photo book kit. Once you've selected that, click Add Whole Pack and then click OK. Now you can see once you've done that, all of those layouts are now available to you down the left hand side. And you can then start building up your photo book as you wish. So I might want the front cover to be this layout. And then my next page to be this one. And then that. And finally, I'll choose this one. So here, very quickly, I've just built up a four page photo book. And you can scroll through your pages using the tab at the bottom here. Now probably the next thing you need to do is start adding your own photos to this page. So if you click on the Photos tab at the top, this is currently empty, but if I click the Add button, I can then browse my hard drive to find the images that I want. And I'm going to select all of the ones in my Antigua folder, click Open. And as you can see now, all of those photos are organised for me down the left hand side. So to start making my photo book my own, I literally just start dragging and dropping photos from the left into the frames within my photo book. So I might use this one on my front cover, and then I can go to page 2 and drag some more on. And keep working on the rest of my book. So I've now literally built up a four page photo book with my own photos here. Now there's many other things you can do in Scrapbook Artist to customise things even further. So for example on page one I might want to add a title. Using the select tool I can move my title around. I can resize it using these handles. I may even want to make this photo bigger. It's also very easy to add additional photos to any page and I can do that by clicking on the Frames tab on the left and I'm going to use this Polaroid style photo frame and go back to my Photos tab and I might bring this photo on this time and again photo frames I can resize them and I might just want to rotate that round a little bit and put that there so that could be the front cover of my book. Now to show some other examples of how you can customise things, I might go to page 3. Again, I can move a, a couple of these photos around here, so I'll just move those across. And also, if I go to the Embellishments tab, the Holiday Photo Book Pack has lots of little subtle embellishments that I can use just to decorate my page a little bit more. So I might drag on this image of a palm tree and just drop that on in that corner there. To just demonstrate a few other features, I go to page 4. And the other thing to mention is that if you're not happy with the position of a photo with any frame, it's very easy to change it. So at the moment, this photo is off-center within the frame. So if I want to move that around, I can click the Crop button. And I can then just pan that image across. And I want to make that image more central there. On this image here, if I zoom into it, I may actually want to make that image bigger within the frame. So again, clicking the Crop button. I can use these buttons here to zoom into it and again I can just reposition that photo very slightly in the frame. Now if I just scroll down to the next image actually this one in comparison to the other images does look rather dull and Scrapbook Artist does come with some built-in photo editing tools. When you've got a photo selected at the top here you can decrease and increase contrast, decrease or increase brightness and there's also a really good feature here called Auto Level and if I click on that you can see that's automatically adjusted the levels within the photo to make it look a lot brighter. Actually, I may also want to apply the auto level to this big photo here. And in fact, with this one, I'm going to increase the brightness a little bit as well. And finally, I will just change this text. And that's it. That's my four page photo book created in Scrapbook Artist. Now, once you finish with your photo book, obviously you can print it if you wish. You can also publish it as a PDF uh, if you wanted to email it to someone. But the other thing you can do is share it online with your friends and family. And if you click the share button at the top, you can click the upload button. 
and that will then automatically load your scrapbook onto daisytrail.com for your friends and family to view.